Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Crypto Scene Investigation, where we talk about various cryptocurrency projects and we ask ourselves, are they really going to be worth investing in? Today we'll be looking at Magic Ethereum Money. Now, if you guys like what I do on this channel, please consider liking and subscribing, um, as well as hitting that notification button. And if you do want to comment, um, I do ask that you uh, say maybe some healthy and truthful things, because we aren't really a bunch of like shillers and maxis in, on, this, on this YouTube channel. Uh, and if we are, I mean, it's a bit annoying to be honest. Um, but yeah, so uh, please make sure that your comment is, I guess, providing something for both myself and for other people because maybe there's something which you might know about this project which I don't. Um, yeah, so anyway, let's talk about it. Um, so Magic Ethereum Money, built on the Ethereum chain. Um, as we can see, so this is very fresh because as you can see, uh, so this is. Uh, like over, over the whole entire time which uh, we can see how the coin has been uh, moving on uh, coin market cap and so that was on the 22nd and we're currently on the 25th at the time of me doing this recording um, and yeah it's uh, <laughs> it is it hasn't moved um, a crazy amount so it, it sort of started at, at like the 5036 and then now we're just a little bit below its initial r release. Um, but we have actually gone up in terms of price, then we've gone down in price, then we went up in price, and then down in price again. So this token's quite interesting. Um, so they call themselves a hyper-reflationary token. Now, generally within the cryptocurrency community, you generally want to avoid, avoid anything which involves inflation, but this particular token actually uses it to its advantage. So essentially, they have this kind of formula um, where it's like a, um, so they combine inflation with reflection. So in other words, so what happens is that uh, when you purchase like a certain amount, and then so it comes up on here, right? So it'll say that you have a certain percentage, right? Um, but what happens with this one is that your percentage doesn't change so your percentage will always be at that one percent so let's say if more tokens get burned for instance because these guys actually do have a um, buyback and burn function um, so let's say if I don't know like they get burned that means that your 10 billion right here will then probably look something like 12 billion or it would essentially be going up with uh, whatever you with however much you invest into it which is pretty heck and fascinating um, I've never seen a token like this before this is the first time I've actually come across one like this um, <clears throat> but we will be looking at uh, some things regarding um, so we'll be looking at some metrics and some other things uh, to make sure that you know you guys are making a good decision because as my little disclaimer said you know do your own research um, yeah so it's currently only available on Uniswap um, which is which is fine. It doesn't necessarily mean that, that it is a bad thing because keep in mind this is literally so according to Moonarch, this is literally eight days old in terms of the actual token age and so that is which is very tiny. Um, <clears throat> so in, in terms of max supply we have got a one trillion um, mem supply. Uh, the top wallet is actually a, a burn address. It's actually a dead address and then the second top wallet is actually a contract. Um, so honestly, when I look at these things, these things are pretty heavily attractive, to be honest, um, because it because it tells us that um, that no major whale or no major person can essentially have a huge amount of control or essentially dominate us, right? Um, yeah, so that's some pretty good signs. Um, we we will have a look at some other metrics. So according to BSC scan, um, so. We will be looking at Token Sniffer as well. Keep in mind that Token Sniffer is currently running on an older version of Honeypot.is, so I believe that we should trust um, BSC check when it comes to their buy and sell tax. I'll just briefly show you Token Sniffer's one regarding this. So Token Sniffer says that that that, that they have a sell fee of 20.3%, uh, and I kind of have a bit of a theory as to why that might be. Um, but we can't exactly conclusively confirm it. Uh, so, so we'll just safely say that the sell tax is currently 9.7%, all right? Just for any sort of debate issues. Um, but there is some hidden things which could be cause for concerns, and we, we will be looking into those very shortly. <clears throat> so, token owner, what does it say? Suspect function detected. Holders could be excluded, similar to a honeypot after a while. 
Um, so keep in mind that this port, this report was done on the 17th, which I mean, if we go all the way back here, it was done before this sort of, this sort of time period. So this could make me believe, and this is like this is just hypothetical. So one thing which 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 does um, give token sniffer a bit more credence in this regard is that uh, is that this would be fresh. This would be right now. This would be right at this moment. Whereas BSC check, their their reports are I guess generated every so often, if or for lack of a better word. So that's why this one's done on the seventeenth, and then token sniff is done like as I'm doing this video kind of thing. Um, <laughs> yeah, so just bear that in mind um, in terms of that jazz. Locked, so we actually have some locked liquidity on Unicrypt, so 90%, so they say it's a bit of a warning that it, that like burned and locked should equal over 95%, but at this point in time, they didn't actually have a burn, as we can see. Um, and then so the dev addresses, they, they say that the dev addresses were quite high at, at this time of this. Um, well, in terms of liquidity, anyway, um, and it said that that the current liquidities, which were at this at this point in time, were um, were 117. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> so there's nothing which is too crazy on here. I mean, other than the fact that you know, like this could mean something for us, and we will look into why that actually can possibly mean something for us. Um, and not necessarily the good kind of something. So the smell test is a six out of a hundred, which is quite low, but we'll have a look. Um, so <clears throat> so keep in mind, uh, the selfie could actually be 20.3%. In fact, we will actually go straight to honeypot.is uh, to actually find the, this out so we can actually confirm it. Well, 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 look at that guys, look at that. So BSC check was wrong from the initial thing and straight from honeypot dot is we can find out that it's actually sitting at 20.1 percent so this is definitely a sell tax which is changing so be aware of high tax now okay so i think that in this regard we should believe token sniffer this time okay um just saying <laughs> all right so that is concerning that is concerning and we will go into why that is concerning uh, no prior similar token contracts so uh, there have been similar token contracts these are the ones which have come up as the similar token contracts boost friend with benefits it's friend without a d um mini retro doge i mean if you guys recognize any of these things and you know if they've been good or bad before please feel free to comment that because um, then that could give us a bit of a better idea in terms of if there's anything which is threatening but but they do have differences so they aren't identical so we can't say that you know like it's all 100% bad right <clears throat> so source does not contain a max transaction amount so what so the source contains a function which can set a max transaction amount so what that could mean hypothetically is that you know you could be buying into this right and then because they have a one trillion total supply keep in mind that 730 billion of that total supply has already been burned um so most of these addresses contain like within the billions within the yeah so most of the top 50 uh so everything is within the billions but what they could do by setting that tra that max transaction amount they could let's say say that you could only sell one at a time for instance so that means that like they could only limit you to selling maybe like one per day which i mean is anybody going to be alive for like billions of days don't know about don't know about about that one um All right, guys. I hope that I don't annoy you too much, but I just I just thought I would do this as an interesting sort of scenario. Um, so, if let's say they were to sell one coin per day, um, or allow one token per day as as, as a sale, uh, that's essentially seven hundred and two, uh, sorry, seven million years. Uh, so yeah, um, which is a major honeypot risk if you had to think about it like that. Um, <laughs> but I thought that was quite interesting. So moving on to token sniffer. So the ownership is not renounced, and we and we and we know that. Um, so that could uh, mean a bit of a cause for these things, and um, so it could mean you know possibly disable selling, change fees, or mint new tokens, or what have you. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so let's move on. Uh, owner wallet contains this, so it says owner wallet contains 15%, okay, keep that in mind, 
contains 15%. Now I have done a little actually graph to actually show this, um, which I will be showing you guys very shortly. Um, so create a wallet contains less than 5%, uh, but the owner wallet is 15%. Now that 15% is pretty massive, which means that if the owner decides to sell because they are 15%, um, I don't know what would happen to the rest of these because these are deflationary, sorry, re reflectionary, reflationary, yeah. So this kind of changes the game a little bit, to be honest. This this uh this definitely changes what we are used to, because generally what happens is you know like big like big wallet sells or whatever. Um, but yeah, I don't know what that means for us in this essence. Uh, if anybody has any ideas what they could mean, that would be great. Feel free to comment. Um, but yeah, that yeah that's interesting to think about. Um, so adequate liquidity. So we currently have seventy eight ETH, um, which I mean according to according to Gecko Terminal, it says that the total liquidity is about four hundred and eleven thousand dollars. Um, Moonarch does say that the liquidity is two hundred and four thousand four thousand dollars. Um, so yeah, it's kind of hard to say how much they actually have at this current point. Uh, so at least ninety five percent of liquidity burned slash locked, and we have eighty nine percent, which is still pretty high. Um, but it's like, but you know, like they say, not enough liquidity uh, is locked slash burned, which could allow for significant uh, amounts to be removed, which equals into a rug pull. <coughs> uh, owner wallet contains less than five percent of liquidity. And it says that they contain 9%, uh, which I think does line up with what we saw on BSC check. So that's what we can find out about that jazz there. Moving on, uh, Moon Arch. Love Moon Arch. It's a good, web a good website now. It says that we're currently sitting at about 90%, uh, which is locked for the uh, for, for liquidity, which is locked for the next 96 days. Uh, when we have a look at the actual pie chart, so as we see, 79% burn, 6% is, is liquidity. 11% uh, is unlocked and 3% is the owner. Uh, now of that liquidity, um, so about 9% of uh, belongs to the owner, 1% is unlocked and 89% uh, is locked. Um, now let's have a look at some of these things because some of these might be interesting. Um, so we've, we've already seen some of those before, but here are some of the interesting possible concerning things. So set team fee. Wow, so they may actually be able to set like a private personal fee. That is interesting, man. Um, Mem wallet, that's fine. Uh, set max transaction amounts. So remember, we saw that from what it said on token sniffer, so that could potentially be a honeypot risk. Um, let's have a look at what, what other things are. Magic Ethereum set transaction fee. So they can change the fees, which is why. So here are some interesting things, okay? So we may actually have a look at their white paper. The white paper says buy tax 10%, sell tax 10%. So they have been claiming this kind of like whole entire thing, like this whole entire time about about like how, hey, like we are only going to be doing buy and sell of 10%. In fact, they've actually got it in here as well. Buy 10, sell 10. But now it's 20? Isn't that fascinating? And also on their Twitter, a few days ago, uh, they said buy taxes has been set to 5% for 24 hours only. But if the buy tax is set to 5 and the sell tax is set to 20, who actually wins? Hmm. But anyway, remember, this could be super out of character because of the fact that this is a reflectionary token. All right. Um, the one difficult thing, though, here is the one difficult thing. So first of all, these guys do actually have medium articles um, describing all of this jazz, by the way. It's very complex. Like, it's mega complex to understand. Even, like, for me, it just kind of, like, it just pretty much went over my head, to be honest, because it, it was really wild. They talk about a whole bunch of nodes and different sort of, um, and different sort of, I don't know, like, things which they can do with it. Um, and yeah, it's, it's all pretty wild to be honest. Uh, yeah, so, <laughs> which probably doesn't give you guys much trust in me, but you know, it's, uh, it's, uh, very complex. Um, yeah, so that's a bit interesting that, you know, they can go and change those transaction fees. So it could be for the benefit or for the detriment, but one thing which I, which I don't think that, that we can check, which it would be really awesome to actually find a way to be able to check that. Uh, maybe if there was a YouTube video which was done on that, or maybe if somebody wants to, you know, message me and actually show me this, uh, where we could actually find proof or evidence that it is actually um, 
reflectionary, like be able to find the evidence to be able to actually actually show that. I mean, there is possibly somewhere in the contract which will um, token from reflection. Uh, okay, token from reflection got got zero expected one. So maybe like the reflection is not even there. I mean, reflection from token uh, got zero expected two. So, I mean, maybe there's, like, maybe they say that it's going to be, like, what it is, but it actually isn't, but they just word it in, like, a super smart way. So one thing which uh, Max Mayer mentioned, um, and if you guys don't know who that is, he's a fantastic YouTuber. Definitely check him out. Um, I love the work which, which, which he does. He's fantastic. I've mentioned him in one of my other videos before. Um, so one thing which he says is that when it comes to a white paper, is that if it is too complex and too hard to understand, um, and it's just a whole bunch of technical jargon. He also likes to personally stay away from that because that the the average person needs to be able to understand that. Now, um, as a part of the of what their white paper says, feel free to zoom into that particular. Actually, let's uh, zoom in so that you guys can see exactly what that says. Um, so certain people they say will not understand this. Um, yeah. So. Yeah, so from their medium, uh, from what I have seen from them d d describing it, it definitely doesn't seem like the average person is going to easily be able to understand this sort of jazz. Because I speak on behalf of the average man, <laughs> kind of, um, and it's difficult for me to understand. So, yeah. Um, so, yes. Anyway, so those are some things to, those are some extra things to consider with this jazz um, is the fact that how do we know? that it is going to still continuously remain at let's say the one percent for example or let's say how do we continuously know that sort of thing so it's probably one of those things where maybe you just have to kind of come back to it at a later date to see if those numbers have changed and see if like the burn percentage has changed because here's the, here's the thing this is this should essentially from what these guys are saying the only two wallets which should not change percentage i mean unless you buy more into that wallet right then that percentage then stays the same for the future right but when we had a brief look at the contract i mean like yeah is it actually doing what they say it's actually going to be doing um yes so let's continue reading uh so set team fee can ch so yeah that's for the team so we know that much uh set tax fees so that's you know the change the fees for much everybody um, set swap enabled, we'll see if there's anything else. Set exclude from fee. <laughs> so here is what it seems like, okay? Here is what it seems like. It seems like there is a little bit of nepotism going on. And I don't know if nepotism is the right word, but maybe favoritism, right? So essentially they could, you know, say, say to their friends, hey pal, like, I'm gonna, like, make sure that, you know, you never have to, like, maybe want to, like, these, these guys, right? They're pretty much like... I'm going to let you be like excluded from being able to have to pay an extra fee, right? In terms of buy and sell fee. So essentially they can allow themselves to be able to be excluded from having to pay those extra fees, but everybody else has to. Like, heck and dang. Um, I mean, unless I'm missing something, of course, um, you know, as, as I say, I'm, I'm very open to being corrected, guys. I'm very open to being corrected. Um, ownable lock could be used to fake renounce. So that's another questionable thing as well. So anyway, um, there's a bunch of stuff which just looks super risky if you are to invest in this. I made a little pie chart. It's kind of cute. Um, so what I did is that I essentially took this, uh, this, this pie chart here, took out the burnt one, um, and then this website did the rest. Meta-chart.com, hashtag shout out. Um, so as we can see, the liquidity says, it says that it's 29% and then the owner with the 15% and then the unlocked is 54%. Um, let's have a look at some of the Twitter stats. So from the Twitter stats, we can see for the last 30 days, they've had 735 new followers. But I mean, as I say, this all makes sense. These guys are mega fresh when it comes to this jazz. Um, I mean, the user's only been around since the 11th of February. So honestly, looking through these, I mean, it, it, it's uh, kind of hard to judge. But one thing I did notice is that one thing which felt a bit peculiar. So I did actually have a look at a few of the profiles to see if they were just, you know, like purely shilling the project. Um, and I definitely, it definitely feels like it. It definitely, like from what I have seen from the profiles, 
it feels like these guys are either actually the developers or they are like the people who actually work on it um and they like yeah um some some of them are actually real people this guy here rummy doge that is a real dude um that's like not some sort of bot account but a bunch of the other ones definitely do feel sort of more like bot accounts from what it seems like and i don't mean bot accounts as in like they want you to sponsor them i mean bot accounts as in they are the ones promoting i mean uh, i think one of these pages or a few of these pages literally retweeted every single comment um made about like the mem thing or whatever so i just so i just sort of think that in terms of like the the social metrics um it does definitely feel as though it's like uh i don't know how to word it it definitely does sort of sort of feel like um i was gonna say maybe like fake social promotion potentially I don't, yeah, I'm sorry, I don't know how to describe it, but there will be real people am amongst them, so not everybody's fake, okay, there are real people amongst them, but just, just bear that in mind, um, so let's have a look at Mag Magic Ethereum tokens, so, <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure that these guys have only exist. like, these, these, these guys have only existed for a mega short period of time, so the fact that we do have some extra searches behind these is pretty interesting, um, it's pretty interesting that we do have some metrics behind this, um, yeah so don't really know what to say about about that jazz uh so this is a part of some of the tokenomics which which they describe um so reflations further uh 10 percent of all buys mint uh, additional reflection tokens which are distributed to holders and then constant burn treasury buys uh buybacks and and uh burn so there is a bunch of extra things uh, which you guys can have a look at when, when it when it actually comes down to the tokenomics the website is very empty uh, they haven't had a, a docs team. I did ask them about that, and they said um, they they don't feel like the need to do it. So I was like, all right, um, <laughs> yeah. So we don't know who the team is. So you know, if these guys are to rug pull, then you know nobody can be held accountable for it. Um, yeah, and I don't see any interviews with these with these guys. Apparently, they were talking about how they actually did show their faces somehow or at one point. Um, they aren't listed on any sort of major exchanges we don't see any sort of roadmap or as far as i could see maybe there's something which was on the medium which i actually might have missed um but yeah so i think guys um in my in my personal not actual advice um don't invest don't buy into it i think they had some fantastic intentions behind making this token um, but I think when we had a look at the contract, I mean, with the reflection from token query, expected, uh, uh, sorry, got zero, expected two, um, token from reflection, I mean, got zero, expected one, I mean, it just, and I mean, from all these other extra things, especially on Moonarch, dude, and Moonarch picked it up, I mean, token sniffer picked it up, man, I mean, it's just, I would just say, leave it alone, dude. I mean, it seems like super cool. So if anybody else actually wants to do what these guys are doing with like the whole like ref reflectionary, uh, in inflationary, um, like reflationary, I think if anybody else wants to do that, like, please, please do it. Um, cause it's a heckin' cool idea. Like, um, yeah, cause as I say, I've, never seen this before but i think that's fa that is fantastic that they actually have something um which can constantly or consistently be reflected so yeah i think that's gangster does um anyway folks that is my video thank you very much for watching um once again please do consider liking and subscribing because that would be absolutely tremendous um yeah, and I've also got a Patreon. Um, so the prices, as you can see, are in New Zealand dollars, but it's 5, 10, and 20. Um, yeah, so I can make you special fan requests. I would prefer that uh, if you are to make any fan requests that you do it through my advocate tier, because um, that would be really awesome. Um, but it doesn't mean that I, that I won't make one for you, but just letting you know a little bit of the depth behind it. Um, yes, so yes, 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 yes. That is some of my thoughts. All right, much love, guys. Be safe. Take care. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Um, my advice: stay away.
<laughs> but not advice um, for educational purposes. Much love, guys. Fairly well. Enjoy.